What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we are going to sneak onto the golf course and do some bass fishing. Want to go over our rigs and what we're using? Hudson, what do you got? I got a Daiwa Revos and a G Loomis GLX. Ryder? Tonight I'll be using the number 8 blackout pool with a fish front reel. I'm going to use a G Loomis NRX and a Daiwa Sertante. We're going to put links in the description for everything that we're using. Hudson and I are going to run with some Yamamoto's. Double tails. We love these in the little ponds. I'm going to be doing a Ned rig with the double tail. And Hudson's going to be using, I believe, an eighth ounce head with a spinner. Ryder's going to be using a square rattler. It's got a good rattle in it. It's got two good sharp treble hooks and it seemed to work really, really well in these ponds also. So let's head over to the lake, see if we can't catch some bass. We got a we got a beaver den and it looks like that little guy right there is not a full adult size so they may have had some some, some babies right there yeah because nope. the last time me and you were here don't be like surprised <laughs> don't be surprised if we hear a big smack here in a few minutes with these yeah that is it's a baby beaver cool look at him look how little he is up there you can see probably always all right guys well i'm gonna go this way yep like we said uh we're gonna use yamamoto's uh double tail four inch four inch double tails is what we're using hudson you want to get over here and put the spinner on on your spinner you need a bait oh yeah we love these they catch fish consistently oh look a duck in there they do kind of get torn up a little bit if you have really aggressive fish Yep. People getting down. Uh, we've caught some big bass in here, actually. Some decent bass. I'm not saying like big, like five pounds or anything. Got one, got one. All right. First cast. First cast. First cast. What'd we get? Bass. Largemouth bass. Good unhook. Let me get a pick. Good, good. Oh yeah, that looks great. He was just sitting right there in the moss. Yeah. Oh, dang it. There he is. Beautiful bass. <laughs> these bass love these Yamamotos. Good hook set. Beautiful. All right, that's two down. Who's got the next one? Please spit it. Got one. Right. Tie it back up. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, boys and girls. Got a nice one. Hey guy. Oh god, what is that? There's the fish. Pretty nice.
this time of year we normally come out here oh another one oh nope we usually come out here with frogs and man you you can really hammer them with the frogs we wanted to switch it up see if the Yamamatos were still hot there are a lot of small frogs that hang out on the bank in this lake and so when the vegetation gets high or it fills the edge of the bank you can't beat a frog here right before it gets dark and a lot of these retention ponds in these neighborhoods are the same way they have any kind of vegetation and obviously frogs present those little frogs we like live target we use a lot of different ones though maybe yeah, got one. I think he's a little. Yeah, he's a little one with a glob of uh, moss. <laughs> That's another thing about these Yamamotos in this small Ned rig presentation. I, I mean, look at this fish. It's, it can't be much more than eight inches long, but you can still catch him. So pressured fish. When the bite gets tough. Uh, I don't think they're feeling it. The Ned rig is, is hard to beat with any type of good soft plastic. I'm surprised this Yamamoto's lasted this long, but these, these, these Yamamoto's are unbelievable in this pond. Uh, they usually don't last but about two or three fish, so this one's holding, holding up pretty good. Oh, stay down. Oh, you jumped twice. Come up one more time. You're gonna oh. jump. Oh, one more time. The trifecta jumper. Wow, these last two have been super small. Actually, this isn't as bad as the other one. I thought it was a lot, a lot smaller. They're, these bass are beautiful in this lake, Ryder, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, great color coloring. They're very, very healthy fish in this in this pond. Even this little one I thought was big at first. They, they hit the baits uh, pretty hard. Uh, these fish here are not pressured. As a matter of fact, I've never even seen anyone else fish on this lake. Ooh, wasn't even that good of a cast. Oh, all the way out there. Yeah, let me switch. Yeah, switch, Ryder. Oh, this, these last few have been super small. Any action. Well, it just, it just goes to show you guys what's the lesson that we're going to learn. Even though you have a favorite bay and it's something you like using, it's not always going to work. you got to switch it up. The fish are what dictate it. Another beautiful fish. This thing is awesome looking. The line is unbelievably beautiful. What's up everyone? We ended it a little early last night. We're gonna go at it again today. We didn't really change anything with our gear. We're gonna go with the same rod and reel setups, each of us. Again, we'll link those in the, in the description. We did change a couple of our baits. So what we're gonna switch up is Hudson decided he wanted to go with the spinner. So what do you got, Huddy? Meps French Lure. So, yep, so Huddy went with the Meps. I'm gonna show them a good. And those are really good in creek and really meant for panfish. There's some bigger crappie and bluegill in these lakes and bass hit, hit that also. Ryder and I are gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did yesterday. We're gonna use a ball head jig and I, I was, I don't know what I said earlier, but it is a 1 8 ounce. And then we've got our Mr. Twister spinners and then we're gonna put the Yamamoto double tail on that. We use green pumpkin. We use other colors also too, so. Head out. Nice to see your color, Greg. No, it's not the color. You gotta cast it good. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a good, that's a decent one. That's not a baby. Oh yeah, there's one jump right there, Hudson. Where? Right out there where that flash is. Okay. Here you go, Hud. Got one on the spinner. Got one? Oh, I hope this is a crappie. Nope, fast. Yeah, got one. All right, everyone, as always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for your notifications. This does it, wraps it up for our golf course fishing video. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, Ryder. Um, I thought today was a pretty good day. We caught, caught a okay, decent amount of fish, you know what I mean? Got to show you where the golf course is, got to explore a little bit, show you where some of our fishing spots are and stuff. I thought today was a pretty solid day. Huddy, what'd you learn today? Huddy did better better yesterday. What'd you learn for today? Uh, not to get mad when you don't catch anything. Right. You're not always going to have the best of luck. You're not always going to catch the biggest fish, but you just got to keep grinding and keep a good attitude just like you are. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.